Well, it's been a while since we messed with the greenhouse. Today's a good day though. It's windy and cloudy and cold outside, so you definitely don't want to be in here when the sun's shining. It's not fun. That's for sure. The old liner for the flood table here was really beat up by the UV. I think it's about three years old, so I cut it out. And I don't think I'm really going to have time to mess with this this year. So I'm probably just going to line it with this stuff for now. And I've got a lot of these pots, which I'm going to start my start my plants in. That way they can have a little bit more soil. i got them down here. So we'll get that started. I hear the solar panel click it over. Charge controller. What's it say? 15.4. It's kind of weird jumping around. Oh, that's when the thing goes in, comes out of divert. Oh, we can probably shut this panel off. I'll make sure to put a link in the description for uh, one of the other videos that I've done on this flood table. This thing is uh, in need of an upgrade a little bit, but in hindsight, I probably should have covered this somehow with something, you know, like a cut piece of plywood and just let the sun beat on that, and then this liner would have lasted a little bit longer. But it made it, it made it three three years in here this would have been the fourth season so man i got more in the shed i just you know We're using the piece we're given, right? Alright, that should be bright enough. 
All right, next step is I gotta dig out these pots. Uh, I usually put a coffee filter in the bottom of them just to try to help with some of the dirt coming out of the drain holes. Keeps, keeps the dirt in the pots, I think, a lot better. Just a little hack. Uh, all right. All right, I guess we'll go outside and start filling them. I just got some random pickle bush cucumbers and some uh, black seeded Simpson. I'll probably do the Simpson in a in one of these trays. You know, the the disposable cubed ones. Probably do them in there and the spinach too. And uh, we got a couple different varieties of tomatoes here. We got some Best Boys and uh, some Romas and a couple things of sweet peppers. We still do have that one pepper plant that did make it through the winter. I had one that made it out of all of them. So hopefully that can come out early pretty soon here. We're getting there. I'm gonna go grab some more coffee filters and do a few more pots. Some big sticks here. But uh, these are gonna be for the black seeded Simpson lettuce and spinach. And then these are gonna be everything else, obviously. <laughs> Tomatoes, cucumbers, peppers. Probably put about two seeds per pot and uh, see what happens. Keep them watered.
These are uh, Best Boy, Best Boy Hybrid. Oh, the rain's coming back again. <laughs> on and off, on and off. Well, we got all these in here. Uh, we got Black Seeded Simpson, which is a lettuce, spinach. Uh, we've got some Sweet Burpee Hybrid uh, cucumbers. We got some Pickle Bush cucumbers, these three right here. A whole bunch of Best Boys. Which I probably give a lot of them, you know, away to the neighbors down the street and people around. A bunch of cow wonder uh, peppers. Hopefully that pepper plant that's still alive will be pretty good this year too. And we got some uh, Roma, which I'm, I'm pretty sure Roma tomatoes are like a vine tomato. You know what I'm talking about? Like, a, like the little ones. And then this other variety of Roma. I just wanted to try two different varieties and see which ones I like better. And uh, most of these, if they actually do turn out okay, will probably get turned into like stewed tomatoes or something and get canned. But we'll see how it goes this year. All right, I guess I'm going to go fill the water tank on the golf cart and give these things a, a good water in today. And then tomorrow I'll probably come down and clean out that this uh, cooler I got down here. Get some of that dirt out of there for once. Even though it really doesn't matter much, I guess, right? <laughs> Get that filled up so we got water in there. And I probably got to plug up my water tank here. Might have to get plugged from the inside. Might even be plugged. We got water. Oh, we got water. Hey, 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 hey. we don't even need to bring none down here. Rainwater catchment. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Hit that thumbs up, subscribe. Check out the videos linked in the description on this uh, flood table setup that I built. And the timers, all off-grid, all rain off solar. I got a few videos I'll post down there about it. Shows much better what, what you can do with this type of system. But this year, it's just going to be a table. <laughs> And hopefully once the sun comes out this little bit here, it'll start to evaporate off.
potato update in the rain. These are weeds. I have to come in here and get them out. Some chives, but the potatoes are looking good. They're coming up. Once we get once they get up about six or eight inches, we'll come in here and put a little bit more soil around them. I'm probably gonna fill these things till it mounds at least close to where the top of that PVC is. Give them a little bit more soil to spread out in. And look at it. <laughs> He's doing pretty good. Strawberries are blooming. I transplanted all these in, in here last year. You can see the difference in them. All the big ones were down this end and all the smaller ones I put down there. They're going to be spreading all the way out here in the yard soon.